Well, 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 good morning, folks. We are leaving Eden, finally. It's been a month here. I mean, hard to complain, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. But yeah, we definitely didn't plan on spending a month here, that's for sure. But we made the most of it. And uh, yeah, now we're leaving. As we said in the last episode, we're not going south anymore. We're heading north. We're doing a 45 mile jaunt up to Bermagui today. Uh, all these next places on the list for us are all new. We didn't stop anywhere as you saw in this video up here. We went straight from Pitwater to Eden, didn't stop anywhere along the way. So we'll be stopping in these places and uh, enjoying a little bit the cruiser lifestyle instead of just trying to do passages. So yeah, um, we'll show you this passage along today. It's going to be a pretty casual one. I think 10, 10 to 15 knots downwind and it should be relatively fast and short. But along the way, we're going to show you snippets of our stay in Eden. We saw and did quite a lot of things, even though we were obviously fixing the boat and I was sick with shingles for 10 days. Um, we did see and experience a lot of things here, so we'll show you just a few of them. Anyway, enjoy the video. So the reason I just put that yellow line on here, um, the cars for the jib are quite close in, more like so for upwind. And so if you let this off, you're just making a big hook sort of. So for downwind it's not that good. Obviously we probably should have the screecher out right now. But I can use this sort of barber horn and just pull it out and just get a bigger area for the jib. And we went from 6.2 to 6.6 so it definitely works. No hurry today, I'm just cruising along. Marie's not feeling that wonderful. and. Uh, yeah, if we cruise over six knots, it's only 40 miles to go, so we should be there relatively fast. Let's go back in time and show you some bits and pieces of Eden area. Eden is a small town, really green, on a hill, all organized around one main street where you can find everything you need. Supermarkets, restaurants, bakery, coffee shops, pubs, all in one place at walking distance. Practical for cruisers like us, we particularly enjoy the fish and chips and the cakes and pies of the bakery. Pies are good. From Eden, you can see on one side the bay, and from the other side, the Sapphire Coast open on the Tasman Sea. 
coastlines are really beautiful. A lot of cliffs and red rocks, golden beaches and beautiful turquoise and deep blue water in eternal movement. If you can swim all the time in the bay in a more green water, the beaches open on the blue Tasman Sea can be rough some days, but we found a beautiful rock pool. Perfect to have our last swim sessions of the season before the cold weather starts to install for real. The whole history of Eden is intricate with whales and killer whales. You can see painting and sculptures of the big marine mammals a bit everywhere in Eden. And it took us a while to really understand why, until we visit the Whale Museum. The deep bay of Eden was the seat of one of the most surprising association of humans and animals hunting together. The legend says that between 1840 and 1930, a pod of around 30 kilo whales were forcing some of the migrating baleen whales in the bay and assisting the whalers to kill them. At this time, whalers were a team of eight men on small canoes with harpoons. This unique association could be explained by the close links of the Aborigines inhabitants of the Bay of Eden the Yuin tribe, who were considering the orcas as their totem animals and who had developed a really close link with the cetaceans of the bay, giving them trust in humans. As the museum had also some information about the different activities of the bay, as fishing or timbering, we were really pleased to be invited to visit one of the actual timber factory and see how wood industry is working nowadays in the region. I let Vernon talking about that is probably knowing more of the vocabulary and how it works. When Noel from South Coast Timber asked if we'd like to have a tour through the, the sawmill that he manages, I was pretty stoked. I mean, it's obviously not the normal sort of thing a cruising sailor would find cool to do in a location but I actually grew up with around sawmills my father owned a sawmill um, I made my childhood sort of um, money working and cleaning up around and you know cutting bits of wood and driving forklifts and all this sort of stuff and it was very similar to this mill actually so it was pretty interesting for me and a big flashback to my childhood to, to get a tour through this place and it was really cool there's like 35 people working there cutting hardwood, all from private, um, yeah, sustainably sort of cut down trees and things like that. And yeah, Noel gave us a really good cruise around and it was really, really cool to see. Thanks for that, mate. More than everything, we really appreciate in Eden simple things as peaceful morning in the sun, surrounded by nature and cute animals. the vast number of tracks along the coast with not much people exploring around just the both of us. Observing wildlife, the fish, the birds, the crabs, tiny simple things that always make us happy.
All right, all tied up here in Bermagui. I actually booked ahead a marina berth for here and got here and uh, yeah, it turns out that they mixed us up with a power cat and there was no room for us. So they put us here on this, uh, the end of the fuel dock, as you can see. But yeah, all good, uh, no problem at all. And uh, actually the first time I've been in a marina with this boat, good to unplug in the power and equalize the batteries out and um, give the boat a good wash. And yeah, just walk off the boat, it's nice. Easy trip up, as you saw. I hope you enjoyed the views of Eden. We had a great time there. Um, highly recommend any sailors going down to Tassie or the end of the world, or even just wanting somewhere to go and hang out for a while. Eden's pretty freaking ma magic. Um, as always, this time of the video, and I guess probably some of you have made it this far, hopefully. Thank you very much, patrons. You guys really keep us going. We wouldn't be doing this without you. Um, for sure not putting out a video every week, that's for sure. Um, really, really appreciative of all the support you guys give us and uh, the good feedback, the good vibes, motivation. And uh, yeah, all of you guys, thanks for um, sharing and caring. Um, everyone who's watching this video is not subscribed, hit the button, hit the notification. We put out a video every week. Sometimes it's on Wednesday like this one was and um, Normally it's on Tuesdays, but if you hit the notification, you'll get a little message when we put a new video out. And that uh, also helps us out on the algorithm, having um, people subscribing and liking that. So yeah, go and smash it. It doesn't cost you anything. Thanks very much. We'll see you next week. I will be sailing next week solo. The first time on this boat from here, Bermagui, up to Batemans Bay. Marie is taking the bus and I'm doing a solo passage on a catamaran. First time in my life. Anyway, we'll see you then. Bye bye.